Hello everybody, I'm Jose Bancourt, and as always, thank you for viewing my videos. So this past weekend was pretty busy. Um, I love my photography, I love my Fuji cameras, and I was able to combine the, both of those and uh, have a splendid weekend. Actually, the last few weeks has been pretty awesome for me as a photographer and an individual because I've been able to meet people that I admire within the photography realm and Fuji community, and not only meet them but actually have conversations with them and, and and helpful conversations with them and i'll tell you about those in a second i met ted forbes and he runs the auto photography youtube channel and he is a very very passionate photographer i love his stories about past photographers he shows their books he gives information like a whole biography about them so he's taught me a lot throughout uh, the years of watching his YouTube videos. So when I finally saw him, I had to shake his hand and thank him for being an educator and teaching newbies like myself uh, the ins and out of photography and its history. And then on Sunday, the last day of Photo Plus 2019, I met the very, very controversial, and I say that laughingly or jokingly. I don't know if laughingly is a word, but I say it jokingly because... Uh, some people don't like this particular individual. His name is Ken Wheeler. He goes by the name of The Angry Photographer on YouTube. And if you're familiar with him, you know he's very arrogant, brash. He loves his Fuji cameras. And he has a plethora of lenses that rivals, you know, B&H used department or Adorama's used department. I mean, it's, it's sickening and awesome at the same time how many lenses this guy has and how many lenses he has reviewed. So I finally got had a, an opportunity to meet him on the last day and we talked for about 10 minutes, talked about the GFX system, photography as a whole. I joked around and told him that, you know what, my wife uh, couldn't stand you because you're so arrogant. He started cracking up. He said, you know what, I got maybe 5% female uh, viewers on my channel. He goes, there's nothing new. And we shook hands, walked our separate ways. But about an hour later, uh, a friend of mine and myself, we went to go eat in the cafeteria at the Jacob Javits Center, which is where Photo Plus was being held. And we decided to just stay local, stay inside so we don't have to go outside. And lo and behold, the angry photographer, Ken Wheeler, walks into the cafeteria. We see each other. We say, what's up again? He tells me, Dude, I was looking for you. I said, me? He goes, yeah. I have this swag that I want to give to you. So he, he takes out this bag, a, a bag wrapped up in plastic. It's a messenger bag, and embroiled on it, it says Fuji GFX. So I was like, no, 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 no. You keep it. He goes, no. Listen, anybody who buys a Fuji GFX 50R is cool in my book and deserves this bag so here take it so i took the bag i was like you know what i'm not gonna turn it down again and so i was really grateful number one because he was looking for me after our initial uh conversation and number two that you know he, he respected the fact that i bought myself fuji gfx 50r because i had told him uh based on this uh reviews and recommendation that i picked up a 100 to 200 millimeter lens for the gfx so we started talking again, and then he's like, yeah, you know, I finally got a few minutes to myself. He goes, I kid you not, everywhere I go, people are shaking my hands. I love it. This is great. And then uh, he decided he wasn't going to eat where we were at because it was quite expensive. So he even stated that, which was funny. He's like, it's kind of expensive, and I was going to treat him, you know, for you know, as my way of thanking him for giving, giving me the bag and a pin, a, a Fuji GFX 50R pin, which is really cool. So as soon as he work, walks out of the cafeteria, somebody else runs into him and is like, oh, angry, angry photographer. So it, it was really cool to see that in action. He was telling, he was just telling us how every turn he took, there was somebody who recognized him. And then I saw it in action. So it was really cool. And, and he's a really cool guy, really timid, uh, uh, very passionate about photography, not just Fuji. And really, really nice guy totally the opposite of what you see on his channel so i figured i'd throw that out there but uh on the fuji side when i went to the fuji love meetup you know aka workshop 
that they had for us for two days a few weeks ago, I got to meet Jans and Tomas, and those guys are freaking, freaking unbelievably awesome. And it's just my luck that I bumped into Jans again at Photo Plus. We got to talk a little bit. He met my wife. Hopefully we'll hook up again because he's in New York till December. So it, it was just great to network with a bunch of people that are passionate about what I'm passionate about. And reminds me a lot of when I was podcasting about video games and, and movies. And I was going to those types of conventions and meeting people and making friendships through there. Now I'm older, obviously. And so it's good to meet older people who are just as passionate about something as I am. Because it doesn't matter how old you are. If you're passionate about something, whether it's photography, toys, movies, whatever, that means you're alive. That means you you still have something that is making your mind work, making your mind think, being creative. And that's the whole point. And that was that was why I had such an amazing two weeks with photography, because I was able to create and think. And it was awesome. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. As always, I thank you for viewing my videos. I'm Jose Betancourt. I'll talk to you later.